Okay, we have another 555 circuit. Now, I received several requests from people looking for a particular type of a circuit. And the circuit they were looking for, they, have, they wanted to use it in their car. And how they wanted it to work, they wanted a circuit that as soon as 12 volts is applied to the circuit, a, either a buzzer or a light can be activated for a set duration and then click off even though power is still being supplied to the circuit. And that's what this circuit is here. I found the circuit online and I modified it a little bit. Now originally there was a push button switch right here. And according to the designer, when you push the button, what happens, the circuit is activated for a set duration. Now in this case it's five seconds. After five seconds the piezo buzzer would go off or the lights that you're controlling. You could also, instead of using the piezo buzzer, you can use pin 3 feeding it to a 1K into a 2N3904 NPN transistor, which will power a relay coil, and you could use the contacts to power interior lights of your car. Now, once the time, once the duration passes, the circuit will click off, even though you still have 12 volts being applied to the circuit. Now, if you'd like to make the duration longer, say 10 seconds, you could take the 100 microfarad capacitor and replace that with a 200 microfarad. So by doubling that value, you'll be getting double the time. So increasing this capacitor increases how many seconds before the circuit will click off again. Now, because you don't want to be pushing, now because you don't want to push a button in order to have the circuit trigger, what I did is I had the 12 volt power coming in and it feeds into a read relay. You have the coil on this side and over here is the trigger side. So the push button now is where the read relay switch is going to be. So once power is applied to the circuit, the relay coil gets energized, pulling the contacts together, which is simulating like pushing a button in, which will turn the circuit on. After so many seconds has passed, the circuit will deactivate, it will shut off. If you would like a longer duration, then you would change the value of this capacitor by making it a higher value. A 200 microfarad should give you 10 to 12 seconds versus the 5 seconds with the 100 microfarad. Now I put a 1N4148. You can also use a 1N4001 to a 4007. That's to protect against back EMF. I figure you can get by on a smaller one, the 4148. It's rated at 100 volts because usually the read relays have a very small coil and the back EMF is a lot smaller. So you, should, if you, use a, you only have to use a very small read relay. It doesn't have to be big. Just enough to get these contacts to close. Now if you don't have a 12 volt read relay and you only have a 5 volt, you could still use that. What you would do, let me go to the calculator, you would have 12.5 volts that's coming from the battery of your car. The read relay runs on five, so you subtract five, and that leaves behind seven and a half. Say the read relay requires 150 milliamps, you would divide that by 0.150, and that equals 50 ohms. You would put a five volt read relay, if that's all you had, and in series with the coil, you would put a 50 ohm, say, half watt resistor right here. Now the designer of the circuit stated that the push button, the momentary push button, even if it was held down, it would not affect the circuit from turning off once the amount of time has passed, which is 5 or 10 seconds. So that is why we're using a read relay, because the contacts will remain always closed once the power is fed into the circuit. So it won't have any effect. It will still run for 5 to 10 seconds, and then it will deactivate either the buzzer or the lights. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy watching these videos, please subscribe and post links on other websites and blogs to these videos. Thank you.